Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, I'm Iggy and I'm a product specialist here at Infogram. So first of all, thanks for joining today's session and for joining Infogram. And if you're new to us, then this webinar is just for you. And in the next uh, 15, 20 or so minutes, I'll show you how you can go from blank canvas to publishing your first branded interactive content piece. And uh, here's the topics that we'll cover today. Uh, I'll walk you through the various formats and use cases Infogram offers in general. Uh, we'll go through picking the right template for you specifically. Um, I'll show you around the editor. Uh, I'll show you how you can add your data, how you can brand your content. And lastly, I'll show how this can be published and shared uh, with your audience. And uh, with that in mind, uh, let's get to the first topic. What makes Infogram so special is the interactivity and the ability to present your data in various formats, such as single charts, infographics, dashboards, reports, and various others. And most importantly, these aren't just static images. Uh, your viewers can actually filter through the data, interact with it, they can hover over the data and will really make it their own and find what they're looking for. So I'll uh, show a few examples of how our customers are publishing their content uh, in various formats. So you can see you know, what is possible with Infogram in general. And here, let's go to the first example uh, of uh, one of our customers embedding single charts uh, on their website. Here you can see that they have an article, and they have multiple single charts that you can filter. We can, for example, choose like uh, only to compare like the deal uh, value and remove the deal count in this case. We can hover over the data and see more precise numbers as well. As we scroll lower, we can see uh, other charts being used uh, in this same website. So you can embed multiple single elements within uh, one page like this, for example, as well. So that's single charts uh, used in a website. What you can also do is you can create an infographic where you include multiple charts, text and other assets uh, that have nice movement and interactivity. And as we scroll lower, we can see that it's very dynamic. As a viewer, I can choose, for example, a, a given age group uh, for top reasons for purchasing a new home and see data for that given age group. So I can make this data really my own and I can find what I'm looking for specifically. So what's relevant for me. Uh, you can make something even more longer format such as a dashboard, like you can see one right here. Uh, here we have these navigation buttons on the left side where we can go to the topic of our interest, like for example, commute. And here we can choose like the whether we want to see year to year change or just what, what's been happening in 2020 to 2025. Uh, we can of course explore the data itself. We can hover over the data, see precise numbers. Uh, and yeah, uh, for, for dashboard, this navigation is what really stands out is it's because it makes it so convenient for the viewer to find what they're looking for uh, specifically. And uh, you can do similar things with reports as well. Uh, here you can see a full multi-page report that we can scroll to through, for example, from one page to another just by scrolling, or we can click on a specific topic that we're interested in, like for example, what we achieve. We can click on even further and see uh, you know, what we are looking for. And uh, what this report has is very nice callouts uh, that we can click on right here to see more details. So. That's also another feature that Infogram offers. So it's not just data, it's also visual content. As you can see, this whole thing has been built on Infogram. And of course it also has data. Um, I'm pretty sure you will find that uh, to be pretty helpful in any content that you create here. Uh, and if uh, you know you, this is not enough and you would like to see some more examples, you can go to our uh, examples page uh, right here, infogram.com slash examples. And here you can sort either by the type of content you're trying to build, whether it's uh, maps or infographics or anything else, or you can even choose what chart you want to see used in this content. So for example, if you want to see uh, a pie chart being used in a project, here you'll see projects that include it and uh, they'll help you uh, with your next project. So um, yeah, that's, what's possible, those are our formats. Uh, so let's go to our next topic, which is uh, picking the right template for your content. And 
there are uh, a few ways you can build content with Infogram. Um, you can either build it from scratch, you can have our AI build the first draft for you uh, for further iteration, or you can build content from one of our existing templates, which is really what most of our business users go for. So I'll show you uh, where you can find each of those options and you know what's the benefit of using each one. So uh, if you start from blank, uh, you'll simply choose this one, blank. Um, and this is going to be an empty project that you can build and fill with your data. So it's going to have nothing there, but you can build it on your own uh, and unlock the creativity. Uh, as, a, as an alternative, you can go to create with AI flow um, here you can write a prompt on your left side um, and Infogram will create an infographic or a chart uh, for you that you can then open in editor and further uh, edit to your liking. Uh, you, can, you can change the content, you can change the data, but uh, AI will at least give you the first draft. But as I mentioned, most of our business users, uh, they create content from templates. Uh, well, why? It's uh, very easy. They help you save a lot of time and provide a very nice and structured layout. Um, you can pick one that you like and work with it. Um, these are tailored for single charts, for infographics, and you know all the other formats that I shared earlier. You can see that right here, uh, what we cover. Uh, and really they help you maintain consistency across your individual or even your team's projects. And, uh, you can even build team templates, which is uh, what we'll actually use today. And uh, these are team templates that help you maintain consistency across the content that you create. They can be reused by any of the team members if you have a team or enterprise subscription. And if you have pre-built something right here and saved it as a template, uh, your team members will be able to go here, click use, and simply start building their content from this nice already built template and they can go and edit the data uh, and the content even further. So I hope um, this will help you choose the right template and uh, let's go to our next section, which is the editor. On the left side of the editor, you'll be able to see all the various assets that you can add to your content, like text, for example. This can be structured in various ways and you can simply drop it in your project via drag and drop, just like this. Uh, the same applies to adding content from our charts and maps section. Um, these will nicely display your data, uh, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, we'll also have a separate webinar on maps that uh, I, you're really welcome to attend. Um, under the elements section, you'll be able to find pre-created assets such as timelines, lists, flowcharts, diagrams, and more. And uh, this can save you a lot of time when you're creating your next project since you won't have to build them from scratch. You can simply go in here, choose, for example, a timeline that you like and just drop it in your project and then you can add your content and your text right there. Uh, we also have a pretty large database of images and icons that you can use as well as GIFs, stickers and anything that will make your content be visually appealing and stand out. Uh, you'll find all of that here uh, along with the shapes. And then we also have some integrations where you can add content from some other platforms uh, and embed them uh, in your project like a YouTube video or anything else really. Now that's the left side. Uh, the right side, however, is where you edit the content you've added to your project. Under the project settings, which is what I have right here, uh, you can choose the theme, which is, well, uh, the, the color set and the branding uh, that you will use for your project. You can also choose the size, uh, whether by choosing it uh, from one of our uh, options right here or by choosing it manually. You can add a background image, edit the footer, and basically change any settings that will uh, be applied all throughout the project. And uh, you can, of course, also change the settings for each of the projects, um, uh, sorry, each of the elements within a project. Uh, and for example, if we talk about a chart, we can, um, uh, not even mentioning the data yet, we'll get to that in a moment. 
but uh, for the chart itself you can change the uh, animations you can change how the callouts look uh, you can of course change the colors the fonts uh, anything to make your uh, chart look the way you want it to look um, so that's uh, the editor and uh, let's go to our next section which is adding your data uh, to your charts There's a few ways you can add data to your Infogram project and Infogram supports manual input where you either manually type the data uh, right here in the editor uh, or you copy and paste from your spreadsheet. Alternatively, you can also upload your Excel file right here and choose the sheet that you want to work with. And we also have live data options where you can connect your Google spreadsheet as well as SQL and JSON feeds uh, for live data. This is a very good option to make sure your content is always up to date and lets you avoid any potential headaches caused by uh, version control and outdated data. And it's also possible you may run into an issue where you don't know what chart works best for your data. This is normal and we can help with that. Our solution to that is our AI chart suggestions that create visualizations based on your data. Uh, here you simply upload your file or paste the data from your spreadsheet. And uh, Infogram will provide various options that will nicely visualize your data. It's a great starting point for iterating and saves you a lot of time when you're under a deadline. You, if you find one that you like, you simply click insert. Now move it where you want to move it, right here, for example. Uh, and now that we know how to add the data, let's go to our next section which is how you can brand this content. There are two ways you can apply branding to your project. Uh, one's more manual, one is more automated. So uh, let's start with the brand kit, which is a feature that's available to our team uh, and business users. Uh, the brand kit allows you to save colors, fonts, logos, and uh, reusable assets and have them be available in the editor uh, when you're when when they're needed and you can easily set this up by going to the branding section on the left side of the dashboard which is where you can add your uh, images you can add your colors in uh, hex uh, as hex codes or you can upload your fonts in uh, otf ttf woff and woff2 file formats right here and then uh, when this is set up, they'll be easily available within the editor. So when you go to a chart and you go to colors right here, you'll be able to see your brand colors. and You can easily pick them and apply them to your project just like that. Um, so that's the brand kit. It can save you a lot of time when building your content. It can help non-designers stay on brand. And it in general, it just makes the workflow that much easier. And now that we've covered the brand kit, I'll tell you more about the custom theme. That's the other option that's available for our enterprise users. And with this, you will have full control over the uh, other brand related things uh, like styles, legends, access formatting, and really anything that you will find right here on the right side. You can set this up by default, like for example, the shape of the legend or where it's located and so on. And uh, this branding is applied automatically to the whole project and all the assets within it. So let's go here to settings and theme. And with one click, here we have it. We have the colors, we have the text fonts, we have everything that we need. And this is a huge time saver for teams that are producing content at scale because not only does it uh, apply this branding to uh, the, the content that you already have in the project, but it also allows you to apply it to any new content. Like if you go here and, for example, add a chart, it will have your colors and text fonts by default. So it makes life that much easier. So yeah, that's branding. And now that we have that covered, we can go to our last section, which is publishing and sharing your content. There are a few ways you can share your content from Infogram. You can share it as a view link, you can embed it on a website or export it as a static or animated file. So let's go through each of the options and see how they work. And uh, 
let's start with the share option and you will see the share button on the top right corner of the editor and this is the most commonly used option between our users on the left side of the uh, share dialog you'll be able to change the page transitions in case of a multi-page report you will be able to adjust your project for the best viewer experience or you can simply preview before sharing so you can see how your project will look like on a desktop and mobile device because it will work for both and on the right side you will see that you can share your content as an external link or you can embed it so let's start uh, with the external link and if content is shared like this the landing page will look something like this uh, here the viewers will be able to explore the project and uh, interact with the data uh, filter what they want to see uh, just like this and you'll be able to gather gather analytics and see what your uh, audience has actually looked at so uh, you'll have that in the analytics dashboard and it's also possible to have custom subdomain and in this case you will be able to remove the infogram logo from the top left corner and change the domain as well and if you have the custom subdomain feature it will look like this so you'll have your logo you'll have your name before infogram in the url link and you can get this feature with our enterprise plan and uh, you can of course also embed the content and you'll see the embedding options uh, right here and uh, this will look like similar uh, similar to what I shared earlier in this webinar uh, in this case uh, you'll choose one of these options and add them to your content management system and by doing so you can uh, turn something that's a bit more static like for example these charts they're static and flat you can interact with them and you can turn them into something more interactive such as this infogram project where the viewers can click through it, they can filter their own data and really make it their own. And this significantly increases the likelihood of your content being noticed, uh, the time spent on the page, and it gives the viewers a much better data experience. And uh, both of these options will also provide you with analytics. Um, you will find analytics on the left side of the dashboard. Uh, and here, if you go to the analytics, you'll see the number of views you'll see where those views have been coming from. And you can even see analytics for uh, a particular project, such as this one. So if we go lower, we can see that the audience has interacted with this content, where they have hovered over a tooltip, whether they've clicked on a tab or whether they've clicked on, leg on a legend. So uh, these can really help you understand your audience a bit better and uh, they can help you fine-tune your content for the best result and this is a feature that's included with our business team and enterprise plans however if you want to share your content as a file you can do that as well in that case you will go to download button right here where you can download it as a png jpeg or pdf that is for uh you know a static result or you can uh, export it as a GIF or MP4, which is uh, what our users mostly use for social media. That's because uh, even though it's a file, uh, it still has some animation, as you can see right here. The content nicely flows in and it surely draws attention of the audience. Uh, you can also download it as an HTML file uh, for local storing. This is uh, possible with our enterprise plan and then you can store it in your own uh, servers. So in essence, what makes Infogram so special is the interactivity. Your content isn't just static images. Your viewers can filter, hover over the content and click through the data for better engagement. The animations help capture the attention while the dropdowns and filters let viewers explore the data on their own. So head over to the editor, start building your first projects and i'm sure you'll find our tool very versatile and very easy to use and if you want to have a more in-depth q a session or set up a trial of our team and enterprise plans please make sure to reach out to me here at iggy at infogram.com or you can book a meeting using this qr code other than that thank you for your time and i wish you a very pleasant day